If you've collected your data with a pH meter connected to the equator, your units will be in volts. This photo shows a pH meter from Metro connected to channel 1 of the equator. So the data has been collected here in channel 3 and we want to convert the units. I showed earlier how you could use the units conversion or the multipoint calibration. There's also a pH calibration here. If you don't see this in your list, you'll need to download it from the EDAC website, www.edac.com. Click on support, software downloads, chart extensions, and here we have the pH calibration, which you should download the file to install and also the user guide. Once you've installed it, you'll have a pH calibration down here. You need to start by drawing a black square around your data and selecting pH calibration. So here we have our data here. You click a point where you had your electrode in a buffer solution, for example up here, and you can either type in the volts or click here to choose that value in millivolts and you type in the pH of the buffer. This was in pH 4. When I was down here, pick up in millivolts, this was pH 9. You can choose your units here, this is pH. Uh, you can also choose for other elements here. If I click apply, you see it flips the graph upside down and it's changed the units to pH. This calibration was recorded at 25 degrees Celsius and if you're going to use your, cal your electrode at the same temperature you don't need to worry about this temperature compensation. But supposing for some reason you're going to do you're going to use your electrode at a different temperature you can type in the units here and it will make that calibration change for this temperature. Supposing you're doing an experiment where the temperature is changing with time there's a really neat function here called automatic where you can connect a thermocouple to measure the temperature to the equator and record that in channel 2 in channel 1 you have your pH meter connected and as the temperature change changes it will change this calibration I'm not going to use this, I'm going to take this off uh, you can check your response here. And so here you have the relationship between volts and pH on the graph. You can copy or print this. And if you click OK, you can see that now the units have been changed to pH. So as I run along, here we're at pH 4, and up here we're at pH 9. 